You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. We are starting the review again from the cryptocurrency market, which is not quite traditional, but the occasion is definitely important. And although it is still very difficult to say, but already now a lot indicates the willingness of sellers to take a leading position. Firstly, the Securities and Exchange Commission is again postponing the date of the announcement of the decision on the application for the Bitcoin ETF creation from the BlackRock. After it became known about this, speculators tried to disperse the market, but there was no update of the highs. Moreover, sellers returned to the 35,500 mark, almost completely absorbing all the previous growth. But let me remind you once again that even if you are on the side of the sellers, it's too early to celebrate the victory. After all, there is a fairly strong technical support area of 33,500 to 34,000 on your way. And now let's move on to the so-called second. One of the largest asset management companies, BlackRock, on Thursday officially submitted an application for the creation of a spot exchange-traded fund that allows direct investment in Ethereum. This investment fund sounds very interesting, ETF ETF. This event, or rather the market's reaction to it, also indicates the willingness of sellers to develop a more powerful wave of decline. After all, despite another application from BlackRock, which partly indicates the company's confidence in the success of the first application, it is not accompanied by a surge in buyer activity. Consequently, we get another bearish signal for the cryptocurrency market. Shifting to the foreign exchange market, I will pay attention to the lack of buyers of this currency pair. Despite the fact that everything points to an almost 100% probability of the end of the current cycle of Fed interest rate hikes, demand for the pair remains moderate. This is not so difficult to explain, because investors have long known that the ECB will also not raise the rate, so the demand for the euro remains weak and in the medium term may be even weaker than the US dollar. Therefore, we do not observe further growth and breakthrough of the technical resistance area of 1.0900 to 1.0935. Until then, the risk of developing another wave of decline remains elevated. Last week, the US Energy News Agency recorded a decrease in reserves by almost 14 million barrels. The report, which was published on Wednesday, recorded a decrease of another 3.6 million barrels. And yesterday, the United States recorded a decrease in industrial production, not only in annual terms, but also month on month. Consequently, it is extremely difficult to talk about the prospect of an increase in the deficit in the oil market, which led to the collapse of the American grade of WTI oil by 5%. As a result of a really strong decline, the price has reached its lowest value since midsummer, but the potential for decline is still large. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.